Hello again, this is John Fry, and I'm Chief Investment Officer at Crane Asset Management. In the last video, I introduced the firm and discussed what we do and who we do it for. In this video, I'd like to give you a few thoughts on investments, our approach, our philosophy. Think back five years ago. Think how you felt during the financial crisis when you saw that stocks dropped on average 50%. It was terrible, wasn't it? Certainly felt dreadful from this seat. What happened then is that there was a collective panic fed by real events that were really truly destructive. There had been a great deal of stupidity on the great deal of parts of many people, whether they were in government or banking or investing or, or in regular walks of life. But the result was a huge crash in stock prices. Remember how you felt? Okay. That is what a buying opportunity feels like. Anytime you're tempted to panic, tempted to sell just because of a stock is down, remember, if shirts went on sale for 50% off in the store, you'd be more likely to buy. Why not stocks? The underlying value of a company didn't drop by that much. Well-managed companies actually became more valuable because they were able to cut costs, increase margins, build market share, and position themselves for the recovery, which eventually came. Okay, now we're looking back five years from now, and it's easy to say that uh, in hindsight we should have been backing up the truck and buying. We did. I do confess that it was really tough some days and we did have to ha hold the hands of clients who were concerned. I'm very grateful to say that for the most part people were trusting and disciplined and stuck with it. We view investing in stocks as really taking a part ownership interest in a business. A business that we believe from our research is fundamentally sound, well-managed, growing, has a competitive advantage over other companies in its industry. And we look to buy when the market gives us an attractive entry point. Maybe we don't get quite as lucky as having a crash like 09, but there are plenty of times when the market undervalues this type of company or this particular company for reasons that are only short term. And our belief is that in two or five or ten years or more, this company will outperform and turn out to be a great investment. If your assets are subject to capital gains tax, that is if they're not IRA or pension assets, our approach is very efficient because we tend to let the winners ride. We'll trim them if they become oversized in a portfolio. We'll trim them if they seem to become overvalued to us. Or obviously we'll make sales if we feel there's a better investment and there is some change in the company we've owned that uh, warrants us selling it. But for the most part we will try not to realize capital gains and should we have made an investment that's gone down in price we'll be able to harvest those losses and use them to offset gains that we would otherwise take. It tends to be a very tax efficient method of investing. This method's not available if you own mutual funds or index funds where you're absolutely passive about the types of gains that are taken and when. We'll also invest for dividends where it's appropriate, where we'll buy a company that's more stable, has high earnings, and pays out a high proportion of those earnings to you in the form of dividends. Dividends are taxed at a lower rate than interest, so they can be a very attractive alternative to owning bonds. A typical client portfolio consists of two dozen or maybe as many as 30 separate holdings. The companies you'll own may be small, fast-growing, and emerging in their markets. They may be large, mature, what you call blue chip companies. We tend to buy a mix. 
large companies, small companies, American companies, foreign companies. Uh, investments anywhere that we find good value and good growth. For those of you who are interested in balancing the portfolio with lower risk, income generating type assets, I'll confess right away, I'm not a big fan of bonds. For the last 75 years, there have been long stretches where the returns to bonds after taxes, after inflation, have been negative. But we understand that people who have reached a stage in life where they need income cannot replace assets if they decline in value and are satisfied with the amount of assets they've accumulated. They can be ideal. Right now, about 20% Crane's assets are in fixed income of one type or another. And we use assets that have a similar risk profile to corporate bonds, but we believe they pay a little bit higher yield, sometimes a little bit more advantageous tax-wise. We'll use preferred stocks, we'll use hybrid bonds, fixed afloat, and so forth, so that we're not exposing you to as much interest rate risk uh, as you might counter if you own straight long-term bonds. Uh, it's a solution that we found works and people tend to be satisfied with it. All right, I would also like to discuss risk. I'm going to do that in the next video because I know this video is long. Risk is a topic that's on everybody's mind all the time and I'd like to just discuss a little bit about what our attitude is towards it and how we deal with it in order to help clients sleep at night. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.